Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is our Tillis Legacy Let's Play here of In Crusader Kings 2. And in this life, well, after some deliberation and an error of mine, I've decided we're gonna go Catholic. And then back to Cam Tengri, don't don't worry. <laughs> I was just letting that Paul sit there for a moment, so did you go to go What? No! But uh, yeah, the fact of the matter is that I by accident created the Duchy of Frog. That means that it's gonna be randomly split again. Because despite the fact that we now have the technology for regulated inheritance, and I have already changed the laws to such a way that it can be allowed, late feudal administration, I realized I am stuck in this bloody uh, system because I am an unreformed pagan. Now, I have two little girls that I definitely would like to concubine. And hopefully through them I will change to Catholic first and then I will change over back to Tengri. That is the idea so that we can have at least a proper regulated inheritance. Which also will allow me right now to say revoke title the Duchy of Kavuna because Yowza I need this. Uh, furthermore we're going to try and concubine a few ladies because uh, well we need some prestige. Prestige would be nice, makes us more liked by people and... Therefore, we are going to go down that route. I'm also going to try and revoke this county, but then via a plot. If it will work, I don't know. I mean, I've just revoked territories, and I wouldn't be surprised if some people would call a rebellion against me. Whatever, yo. Um, we are going to try and placate whom is the question, though. Um, we want to placate somebody. That is you. We're going to sway your opinion positively towards me. That is actually the kind of the idea that I want to do. Um, yes, and as I said, a lot of concubination, uh, which is still not a verb, but I don't know how else to, to do it, is something that we're going to also do in this episode. Which means, if you don't like prisoner uh, in issues, don't watch this episode. Because this is all about how to handle prisoners. Uh, you, darling, I need you... I'm actually going to send you a little gift, strangely enough. Thank you. So that I can recruit you and then concubine you. I do this because we also have another daughter, another sister of hers that I can concubine for 75 prestige. And I actually like to have this girl because, well, she is an elusive shadow. And, uh, well, this can work. I have now two ladies that I currently have concubined, which I'm fine with. One for this duchy and one for... Uh, well, futurally... Oh, that's only a county. No, you, you have a duchy. Hold on. Oh, that's the same duchy. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. We're going to get some concubination going up in here. And otherwise, it's ransom prisoner and releasing of prisoners and what have you not. The Kingdom of Pannonia. Uh, yeah, well, I'm probably going to release you in that case then. I don't need a huge kill list with the drunkard. Uh, actually, the drunkard, do you already have a kill list? No, you don't, strangely enough, despite being a mercenary. You, you, we want, we want you. Uh, you are very far away in the lesser Poland, but still, nonetheless, you are going to go and gonna assign you a guardian. Uh, I don't really care what happens with you, uh, but I wouldn't mind if you got lost all. There you go. Uh, this darling... Can I take you as a concubine? Yes, I can, actually. There you go, take you as a concubine. Just get some prestige up in here. And uh, I do want to rotate concubines uh, a lot, so we'll ask them to leave court. But yeah, I believe now I have tons of ladies that are actually uh, going for the same duchy. Mm, we don't need all these girls, but we do like the prestige. That's also something that we really much enjoy. And you are too old anyways. Can I ransom you? No, then I will simply release you. Uh, you would not give me prestige if I concubined you, so I will just let you go. Uh, you would, become, would give me prestige if you weren't as old, so it has no use. So release you as well. You would give me a little bit of prestige. Now, that we should take into account. Because now we don't have a rotating concubine spot left anymore. So we should be careful to see who we want on our side. Um, do you 
want this concubine, who is chaste. This one would give me more children, but I would love to get children from her as well, and that inherited our realm. In fact, you are actually not as strong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna set the concubine aside, and then we're gonna say, ask the leaf court. And then you've gone all the way out there. That's fine. I don't, I don't really mind. Uh, now we have a concubine spot that can rotate. So what we do is we take you as a concubine for 50 prestige, set the concubine aside, and then we say ask the leaf court. Actually, I could have already turned to Catholic over her with her, but that is a little too early. I need my realm a little bit more stable first. You, I just want to ransom you. You're not interested in him. Oh, for some reason you are now part of that. Okay. Uh, just release you in that case. Are you? You're still in my realm. Imprison a facted infidel. Right. And your young girl is under our control. So. Heritage focus. Assign a guardian. Yes, let's get her to the Tengri Faith. That is all good. It yeah, is the problem, as I said in the last episode, we have a luxury problem right now. Way too many prisoners. Uh, nobody cares. Fine, then we'll kill her because sorry, you're folic, and this time nobody cares. That's fine. You are actually of some standard. But I can't concubine you. Because, oh, I can. Sorry. But it's apparently not worth anything. Oh, you're beneath me. Why are you then beneath me again? I'm gonna banish you. Bye. I, I don't need this issue in my realm. Uh, let's see you. Ooh, Greek. How the heck did I capture you? When did I capture you? But too old to give me any prestige. Uh, executed wood care people. So they'll just release you. Goodbye. Uh, you are actually Catholic. Can I recruit you? Why, can't, why is recruit no option over here? I can't have drunkard. I can't a drunkard. Wh why can I not... That's weird. I don't have a recruit option. I mean, I can take her as a concubine, but that's something else. Would gave me prestige, though, so you know what? Take her as a concubine. Then, say, set concubine aside, and... Uh, ask to leave court. Voila. Then you, you now hate me. You, uh, are you now the recruit option available? Nope. I don't know why that isn't available, but that's just the way it is. Uh, release from prison. Congratulations, you're out of my my territory, but we will keep your girl. Your girl over here will be remaining in our realm. That is no reason to, for me to release her. She will also give me prestige once I concubine her. You are possibly, yeah, ransomable. Which is also not a verb, but, yeah. There we go. Ransom your kids. And then, I, I don't know why that is nowadays a, f a function that you can't switch back anymore. There you go. Ransom these boys. And with each thing that we ransom, the better. You are Bulgaria Kashu don't seem to be of any particular family, but you hate your boss, so I will recruit you simply. I noticed. You had minus 100 on him. As for you. I can't recruit you, but I can take you as a concubine. Set the concubine aside and ask the leave court. I'm doing this because I don't want a lot of people with minus opinion... Uh, uh, minus opinion penalty uh, in my court because the problem with that is that I can't really afford 
when people are already really angry with me to also have that uh, have so many people with that particular trait in my court and then have um, plots to kill me be very successful because there are so many people that want this uh, 51 I could take you as a concubine but you're too old to, to do anything so I could recruit you that is a minus seven that is that is doable uh, Kazar, you do not have anything in particular going for you. Nobody wants her, but I'm just gonna release her because she's just a Kazar Tengri who got caught up in the mix. Same for you then. Because you have no particular claim. Uh, you actually are concubinable. Boom! There you go, into the Duchy of Cherzon. That's actually pretty darn close. That's over here. In Kazaria territory. That is actually interesting. Do we want to keep her for a moment? I can already do liberate. Oh, well for that. No, that's just one little thing. I... I, I yeah. Weird. Um... Tengri. Let me just see over here. Oh, she's also Tengri. But she's Kazar. What happened over here? Inherited. And that was granted to somebody else. We turned from Gothic, Gothic into Greek. Okay. Because now they nowadays have this gothic culture over here. There's a very small little, little bit of gothic culture over here. Uh, but there are more tangry people over here. We'll have to see. You are supposedly ransomable. For the duchy of Ostogrom and Balaton. That is just too good a lady to keep. She's focused heritage. Yeah, we're not selling her. Uh, you are definitely concubinable so we need some spot in our concubine territory in our group so are we going to leave the, this Greek lady behind I mean she's not really particularly skilled in anything and these two like me at least so yeah sorry a set aside concubine and ask to leave for bye I'm giving this man so much so many people so, uh, let me just take you as a concubine. Congratulations. S secretly convert to Catholic. Or we can do it entirely. And I change to Catholic. And then I get into 200 piety. I could do that. Uh, you are part of my realm, apparently, for some reason. Just banish you. Bye. Just take your gold and banish you because there's no use for you. You abandoned your true faith. Can't abide by that. You are apparently now uh, uh, part of my realm. Okay, you're released then in that case. Congratulations. Ransom prisoner minus 70. You're not available yet. You're the count of? Oh, you're actually part of that. Well, uh, you darling, you are concubinable. Uh, she hates my guts, but we now could switch to Catholic immediately. Convert to Catholic. The pillow talk, uh, I can convert to purchase fate and become a Catholic Christian. I lose 500 prestige and I gain 200 piety. Prestige hit is not a problem. But I haven't ruled for 10 years anyway, so I, I won't be able to change anything here anyway. So I, I don't believe like that is doable yet. People are going to hate me for quite a bit for having revoked that title. Actually, this is going to stay for 100 years. So I don't know if I'm ever going to properly do it, but I am going to have to do it in some 
form or measure. Um, we'll have to see. In fact, it's so bad that I probably should stop doing you. And start working on you, otherwise you will never be friendly with me anymore. And I say improve diplomatic relations over here. There we go, that seems like a better idea. Um, for future references. So then the question is, which of these two girls am I going to abandon? If I'm going to keep her around. Because that's Nitra, that is also pretty close, that's also useful. Um, hey, your concubines, are they captured by me? No, but uh, somebody else. Okay, so no thing here. Uh, do we want you or you? I mean, she will give me children more likely than her. So I'm going to have to set say concubine aside. And she still likes me then and is in my court. So that, uh, so that works. And uh, time to find more concubines. Like you. I will recruit you, take you as a concubine, and set the concubine aside, and tell her to leave court again. There we go. I will just release you from prison. Or ransom you? Yeah, ransom for 10 gold. Nice. Uh, you are not of my realm. Right. I will banish you then. No gold, but there's no use in keeping him. You will actually give me nothing I just noticed because you are too old. It's hey, it's not me. It's the game that says that, right? Uh, bup, 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 take his concubine. Doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to release you from prison. I should have actually recruited you. That probably could have been... That might have been possible. You have a very little claim, but you're also very old. So that doesn't matter. Release you from prisoner. I should be called the kind and not the, the freaking drunkard. Do you know how many people I've released? Look at how many children I have in my prison. I am... I'm kind of ashamed. Holy heck, release from prisoner as well. Congratulations. I am... throwing out everybody. Uh, did I not ask you to be... No, apparently not. Okay. There we go. That should be it. Uh, I think I by accident now, now threw away 10 bucks. Yep, I threw away 10 bucks there. And there. 20 bucks in total I, I by accident just threw out. By releasing these women instead of uh, actually properly doing something about this. You want to marry this courtier. With all these claims to the IG's own parent. Can I actually concubine you? That's 75 prestige gained from simply concubining one of the ladies from be my father. But you are where? Uh, ne right next door. Sure, take her. Congratulations. The eye patch couple. Um, now I'm looking for the concubines of my father. You are a little to old to concubine all right oh 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 sorry for the double clicks i i had considered to do this all off camera but then i was a little bit like yeah if I, that's a little too much there you go and then set concubine aside because you really are not really that interesting to me and i'll ask you to leave port there you go. Away with now, because you are a little too unhealthy to be in my court. Okay, done. That is a lot of prestige gain. All of a sudden, 2,000 prestige. Even when leave, asking to leave court, and we have places left for these girls. And we are going to see if we can get some children. Because I do have room and air, so I am ready to go, so to speak. We gain a loyal servant... And I can replace another one. Actually, that might actually be good in this case. 
is no longer oh there's no longer commander that's not exactly what i want but i gain a loyal servant nice all right we have some special titles to give out designated regent i will put in my heir even if he hates my guts right now but venerable elder thank you very much and everything else is done oh well yes indeed oh well can i concubine you yes but it doesn't do me anything ransom prisoner 10 gold not accepted executed prisoner nobody will care well if nobody cares goodbye what can i possibly do to endear prince Utugu to me. I am not particularly experienced in making people like me, but it cannot be that hard. Uh oh, <laughs> that doesn't say much about it. Uh, isn't there a bard mocking him in Constantinople? Send Prince Utugu to the head of one of his detractors, hoping it will sway into court. Uh, a head? I don't think that's smart. I will teach him how to deal with his enemies. Write a long list of suggestions, or. Well, let's do that one. Strange that that is. Despite all the care that I put in preparing this gift, Prince Utakur claimed that he would have preferred to deliver it myself to a simple letter wishing him good health. Well, good to know for the future, then, I, I say. E yes, we have a plot going. We have lots of girls. And oh, look, the plot is actually thickening. At a certain point, we will become come stronger. Um, yes, and you. I, I will just let you keep this one county. Uh, in the end, I, I will try and fix this. But right now, this is just the way it is. Um, I don't want to attack Pannonia right now. I would love to attack the Byzantine Empire, personally, but... Somehow I think this might be folly. <laughs> Something tells me it might be folly. Hey, you're still tangry. Interesting. Oh, you already died. Oh. Oh, now I see how it is. Okay. Okay, okay. And you also were a Kinslayer. Lovely. Kill list. That doesn't seem like a, it was probably then a pact. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, because it can't be too long at peace. Worship the ancestors. Oh yeah, that's something we should do. Guide my sword in battle. Uh, we could click on this boy and kill him. He doesn't want this boy? I, uh... Shoot. 74 gold is what I like. Uh, I could kill him. But I don't see the point of it. I'll grant them a, a big feast. The boy then partially pays for it. Uh, I have no idea who you are, darling. You do have some stats, but... Uh, there we go. And boy paid for one third of, of, of my offer to the ancestors. Casaria. What happened? I, I noticed a change. Oh, you actually took some land, I have the feeling. Uh, you just died. Derachion. Again? Wow. I think in the last episode they also died. Now of an affected wound. And the boy is three years old. Hmm. What's happening over here? I'm gonna kick those raiders away for a moment. Thank you very much. My half-sister was betrothed, so I'll just keep that on. Righteous imprisonment. Why is this? No plot. I want to kill her. Oh, hey, take his concubine. Thank you. That is the other one that I still kind of want. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the righteous imprisonment can work. Let's do it. And revoke the title of the county of Kahuna. And seeing the... Uh, hold on. Where is it? Uh, I could execute him and take all his lands, but... Ooh. 
You will be considered a Kinslayer. Yeah, let's not do that. But if we revoke a title. We now can take Carvuna, and nobody will object because he's a traitor. So, ta-da! Lands restored. Just that my heir now has very little land. And he's gonna hate me forever. So I'm starting to consider keeping him in prison forever. Oh, but she's pregnant. That's amazing. But because I think if he is in prison, he is unable to influence... Uh, um, there we go. And now you're happier. I mean, it's a lot less power than, than, than him with his 19. But this way, I don't think he can sway the vote. No count with a tier high, I can have a negative opinion of me. But there's also this man, for instance. So... Um, Talking Belgorod, I think you're talking to yourself now, but that's just the way it is. I succeed in my plot to revoke Kavuna. There you go. That seems like that is that went excellently. And she, I like it. She's pregnant, and if she gets a genius, that's very good as well. Except that Karen the evil's called to arm for his wars. Oh, dude, they are independent nowadays. Defending against in the liberation of Perm. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, I would help you if you l allow me to make an alliance with you, but you are being an idiot in that regard. Uh, arrange a patrol between him and my s half sister. Form an alliance. No! Political concerns, but I can't offer to join the war now. So we can, we'll go back up. And then we got a revolt on our own hands. Okay. Wow, this guy actually has some forces. Interesting. Slain in combat, and I also noticed that one of my prisoners came of age. You, darling. Uh, I can concubine you again and gain some prestige. But right now I'm starting to get... Oh, nope. And set concubine aside and ask to leave court. Bye-bye. Because you are now horribly ill with the great box. And for some reason they're all going over here. All the way up in the north, which is kind of weird, but that's just the way it is, I guess. And, um... Oh, that doesn't actually give me anything, surprisingly enough. Okay, well then, we're just gonna ransom you. As very little troops as it is, it will give us a center. Because right now... I believe that we have only flank troop. Oh, but that's because of this. Okay, that's weird. That is really weird. There we go. Locked in. Take this out. Boom. Bada bing. End. And enforce the mats. You are Tengri, though, but you hate my guts. Evil tyrant. Yeah. No release from prison, then. You can go over here to this lady. Which is, in the end, also in our territories. Uh, this is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Stand down. Move up. And can we actually afford... Yes, we might be able to afford one more levy. Uh, apparently we cannot. Oh, we have 520 left. No, we have... Uh, I can't count. 500 left, and this is... 580, yeah, so we, we barely have enough. Uh... Take us a concubine, but it won't do me anything. Okay, a ransom prisoner. No. You are the Duchy of Chanson. 
congratulations, I can execute you, you can rent. Oh, but you're, uh, you're now, oh, can I not recruit you? Why not? Opinion is equal or greater of. Just recruiter, come on. Boom. Why? Because I can. Not nothing in particular or anything else other than that. Uh, there we go. Vanish without a trace. Okay, sure. Don't know why I'm getting all these kind of... Oh, there we go. I'll concubine you. 75. Congratulations. Concubined. We have no current claim, so you're definitely the one that's going to be removed once again when that is possible. Um. Release from prisoner. I could say I could banish him. Lowering your other vessel pain of you by minus 70. Okay, that's not a good thing. <laughs> I could ransom him. He can't pay for that. I could release him. People think I'm merciful. Yeah, just release him. If he causes trouble again, I, I will cause him... I will make sure that... He will change his opinion anyways. There we go. We will sway and start swaying his opinion. This is going to be a long, long time because he hates my guts forever. No, we are not going to mass convert. We are just going to convert a wee little bit. He actually has an army over here. Combined, we have enough strength to, to, to win it. I'm more concerned with getting the capital. Back. There we go. So I would say... Uh, this was arranged. Alright. Get this capital back. Are we gonna fight? I think we're gonna fight over here. Uh, you are actually quick, which I like a lot. Navar, you already can give me claims, so... Where's the other girl? You, you're less important to me. Set concubine aside, but I will keep her in this case. I will just simply find her a husband. Within the realm. Arrange a marriage between... I don't know. It's not the girl that hates me. Where's the girl that hates me? Her and... A general that like... Oh, you know what? No, because he's Catholic. Can I do a matrilineal marriage? Yes, I can do a matrilineal marriage. There you go. Ah, uh, fun, you two. So, let's see what's happening over here. Boom! Boom! This should be a good battle. <laughs> there we go. Trash his armies. I sure. Nine. That should be doable. I'm not the one that's sieging over here. All right, and I will siege his own county. Boom. 100%. That's how you win the war, buddy. It's that easy. But well, we are once again allied with Bulgar. Bulgar, who has been definitely weakened by losing Mari and losing, I believe, this county. But still in the hands of our dynasty. That is the most important thing of all, of course. And we are going to uh, fight this man. Dual Godmir. I mean, he is 9 and I have 45. I am a drunkard. But... I have some some interesting abilities. Uh, you win the duel. Yeah, let's just win the duel. Let's not not make it too uh, difficult. Oh, we we poked out his eye. Okay, well I I won the duel nonetheless. How much do I need uh, to go up? Two thousand, and I am gaining how much? Is there a gaining mechanism? Yes, there is. All right. 
and we become friendly. After me having poked his eye out, he is like, yo, you good. Well, I am sorry that this episode was a much about how to handle prisoners, uh, how to, uh, well, actually concubine things, gain prestige. In the next episode, I want to try and gain possibly this county back from Sicily. Sicily, who is now apparently once again independent, uh, but is also in its own war, and I think that that might be nice enough to attack. He is currently attacking this person, who is actually Tengri. That is kind of cool. But yeah, we'll have to see. If uh, one day, one day, the Kazarn branch of this family once again takes control. What are you? You're Levantine. Didn't realize I had new portals for the Levantine people. Really? I like it. You are not Levantine. You're a Zirian. You're Byzantine. Assyrian Byzantine? You're from this culture. Interesting. Uh, Levantine as well. Yeah, they have new, they have new portraits. Awesome. I always enjoy it when you can see that. I wonder if the Coptic also have new portraits. Because I know for a fact that these people kind of like their own portraits. Whoa. You're definitely part of something. But yeah, these people are all the, the, the generic, if you will. Uh, Fortress Houseland, you have become big. Are you the new force in South Africa? Whoa! Speaking of a new force in Africa, dang! I think that's the first time I ever see Africa doing so well by itself. And the Reconquista also happening properly by, uh, the, by the AI. And uh, whoa, these mountains are new. And Muria has no longer its own duchy? Oh, there's a Maria. Sorry, Murcia is there. Nah, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. But yeah, this is new. These mountains are new. As are these mountains. Well, traveling through Spain has become much more a pain in the arse. Uh, not new probably since the, the installation of Holy Fury. I just didn't realize that that had happened. So we'll just have to see. Hey, the Irish are uniting. Awesome. We also don't see that all too often. Well, we have reorganized ourselves to be uh, a little bit better position regarding our future plans. Of course, that still requires me to, uh, well, A, get some heirs. I do have uh, grooming an heir as my ambition. And I do, but I do have to compensate for homosexual, which is minus 15. And not only that, I also have to compensate for scholarly theologian, so all of this bonus is just a cancellation of the negatives I have in my traits, but then again I'm also lustful, and uh, by the way that's over here, and that is of course going to also help a bit, but no pregnancies just yet. I have to see if Count Oxun the drunkard will actually produce as an heir, and I hope he will, because we kind of need that. And otherwise, we're going to have to go via the route of my, well, not so happy inheritor. Who was a little better, but I think he gained gluttonous over time. I'll have to see. Uh, still possible for him to gain himself a very nice child and a genius with uh, this lady of Andiliogi. But we have to see. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.